A man who dragged his uncle's corpse to a post office to collect his pension has insisted he didn't know he was dead and was not an EG who was trying to rob him. Declan Honey, 40, claimed he was not trying to rob Pattered Oil, 66, after he and his friend Gareth Copley popped the pensioner up. They were on a five-minute walk between Mr. Doyle's home and Hosey's post office in Carlow, Ireland, 50 miles south of Dublin, when the pensioner went a bit slumpy. Former drug addict Mr. Honey admitted he previously stole from his aunt. He said people in his hometown were alleging he had murdered his uncle and tried to rob him because I have done it before. However, Mr. Honey protested his innocence and said he was not an EG. Am I cuckoo? Am I cuckoo? Am not, he told the Irish Mirror. He said, why would I want to rob my uncle? Them 40 years of age, yeah, them not a child, them not a young fella. It's not an EG to walk into Hosey's with a dead man and collect his money. Mr. Hong said 15 years ago he stole his aunt's bank card and pin when it came by post and served two years in jail for fraud. However, he said he has been drug-free for three years and had nothing to do with his uncle's death. Him off the gear three years and doing well, he added. Mr. Honey said he accepted Mr. Doyle might have already died before they reached the post office. He said, we were grand then all of a sudden he started going all slumpy. The 40-year-old also claimed he was attacked and suffered a black eye following the incident at the post office last Friday. He and his friend Mr. Coakley were called fraudsters after they carried Mr. Doyle's corpse to a post office in an alleged bid to claim his pension, in scenes reminiscent of the 1989 film Weekend at Bernie's. In the dark comedy movie, a pair of insurance salesmen lug around the body of their murdered boss, pretending he's still alive and recover his corpse, which is clothed and wearing tinted glasses, several times. Irish police were investigating whether the elderly man may have been dead for up to two days when the grim incident took place. The fraudsters had put a jumper over Mr. Doyle's face and a hat on his head. Both men had previously gone into the post office and tried to get the money but staff told them they needed Mr. Doyle there himself or his next of ten there. Afterwards, it is alleged they went to Mr. Doyle's home and carried him along a public footpath before they again tried to claim his pension.
his appearance led an employee at Posey's post office in County Carlo to become concerned about his well-being and she asked if he was unwell. The men are said to have told her that Mr. Doyle was having a heart attack and placed his body on the ground. Gardy and an ambulance were called as events yesterday unfolded and the men stayed at the post office, making no attempt to escape, according to the Sunday World. One woman said her daughter saw the two men carry a man into the post office. Speaking to the Irish Independent, she said that the man looked unwell and that his feet were dragging the ground. There was a queue outside of the post office at the time and people had initially thought the man was having a heart attack. She said, I feel awful for the staff. I've a 12 year old daughter and am trying to explain to her what happened and sure where do you start? It's awful. It is understood that the man told Garley Mr. Doyle was alive when he was brought into the post office. No arrests have been made so far but both men were interviewed by the guards and have given statements. Guardy are investigating if Mr. Doyle died at a nearby property of natural causes. Residents and neighbors of Mr. Doyle said they were sad and shocked after his death. He was described as a lovely man and neighbor by one and another said it had been a sad night and a shock. Mayor of Carlo, Ken Murnane, said, I was absolutely shocked to hear about what happened. I cannot believe anyone would do something like that. It beggars belief, I'm just shocked. A Garda spokesperson said Gardi are investigating all the circumstances surrounding the unexplained death of an elderly male in the Carlo area on Friday morning. Officers think Mr. Doyle may have passed away around three hours before his appearance at the post office.